ride in this video. This video is for anyone who has been tuning into the calendar series tutorials or if you're just getting started with the calendar series. The custom calendar, you can find a section for that over at www.bcraftmath.com slash KLWP and the custom calendar. There are 14 parts to this series and if you're just getting started there are going to be some places for example part five there is a bug fix or at some point in there and there were some of those throughout this entire series. Through making this series I have a small glimpse of what it's like to be an app developer. Uh, take Frank Monza for example the developer of all of the custom apps you know there we get these bugs and he addresses them well that's exactly what I've done throughout this series but since part 14 I said this would be the last part I think so for those of you that have been tuning in or from here on out I'll post the most up-to-date version in my free components folder right now it is craft cow v8 and just maybe two videos ago in this series as I was finishing it up there was a bug fix in part 13 when I made that bug fix I actually created another bug so that when you were going from one month to the next it was always showing 31 days from the previous month regardless of whatever month it was that's a simple fix but for those of you just getting started you're going to run across those and I, and I apologize for that but there's not much I can do there um, it's just like developing an app I mean this calendar in and of itself is almost like a miniature app inside of your custom live wallpaper or custom widget or custom lock screen so there are some bugs but I address them as I go through this series and once you get to part 14 the one bug that needs to be fixed is the following when I addressed the leap year fix right there towards the end of the series and I moved all the GV years up here to the front, I failed to put parentheses right here around that GV month minus one. And there's two spots we need to fix that and adding those parentheses here and here as well as here and here, this will now work. It's not going to show 31 days from the previous month regardless of what month we're on. And this bug was quickly relayed to me over the past uh, day or two where you know I finished up the series and a user did let me know of this so uh, thank you so much for doing that and um, any bugs you run across feel free to shoot me a message leave a comment on a YouTube video that's no problem and again you'll find the updates and I'll start adding a change log to let you know what was needed to fix a particular piece in the event there are any more bugs so for those of you just getting started, yes, this is a long series. There is a lot of stuff going on in the calendar if you haven't already seen the intro video. For those of you who have gone through it, go make that change. For those of you halfway through it, just remember, um, you can always come back here to find the most up-to-date version. And you can find that in my free stuff folder. And that link is just a section above it, that button right there. Click here for all of my free stuff. And there you have it. This is the video you need to watch first if you're just getting started. And for those of you who have been following, I hope you do make that change and any future changes that are needed. And I'll post those updates here on my website. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.